and you're on. Hey, it's me, Janet Jackson. Uh, my new single is Made For Now with Daddy Yankee. <laughs> and you are watching my Steve Harvey Ask Me Anything chat. And I just want to thank you, Steve, and thank the, the crew at The Morning Show. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Tonya from Detroit. Janet, with Aretha Franklin's death, your thoughts on her and her career. Did you ever meet her? Tanya from Detroit, uh, Aretha Franklin. First of all, Aretha used to live around the corner from my family when I was a kid. Um, her kids would come over to our house to play and we'd go over to her, her home to play with, with her kids, with the kids. I remember being a young girl at 10, 12 years old and she coming to the door one day when that was when she had her her light brown hair and she had an all white but it was a midriff with a skirt and I, I remember thinking that's that's Aretha Franklin that's that's misrespect uh, my thoughts on her career she brilliant uh, she is uh, her, her her music will always live on forever live on but beyond that she she, she meant so much to not just us as a people, but all people. She was an activist. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, she stood alongside of, uh, alongside um, Martin Luther King. A lot of people don't know that. So she, she's a very, very important. She played an important part in our history. And I thank her for that. She's going to be missed. But once again, like I said, to be, not to be cliche, but, but her, her music will live on. Yarnell from Jersey City. Hi Janet, Yarnell here. You've had so many major accomplishments in life, from entertainment to being a wife and mom. What is the first thing that comes to mind as the thing in life that you still like to achieve? Yarnell from Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few things that I haven't done that I'd like to achieve. I'd like to produce films television. Uh, that's something that I've always wanted to do that I've never done. I've, I've always wanted to play a superhero in a film. I, I've wanted to do that since the 90s. As a matter of fact, uh, Brian Singer came to me um, to play uh, Storm for X-Men uh, before going to Halle Berry. And unfortunately, I obviously I, I I didn't do it. I couldn't do it because I was on the on the uh, Janet tour at the time, and it Storm was always one of my favorite Marvel characters. I used to collect the 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 flash cards when I was younger, so I was always into superheroes. And I thought, how cool would it be to to have a black female superhero? So that's another thing that I like to do. There's so many more, but I won't many more things, but I won't bore you with them. Natalie from Baltimore would like to like do another film with Tyler Perry. You all should make it happen. Natalie from Baltimore. Tyler and I talk all the time. And I've gotten a few scripts. I actually got a script from Tyler. Um, and I've gotten a few scripts other from others. Um, I don't know. We'll see. He, he knows how much I adore him, and, and we have such a great time making films. But I'm in, I'm in a place in my life right now where, at least for right now, I'd like to keep it kind of fun and, and up and light. I don't mind the action pack. I, I, I don't mind that. Uh, but, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Megan from Inkster? I know you have Daddy Yankee on Made For Now. Who is one other artist that you would like to collaborate with? Megan from Inkster. Um, gosh. I would love to do something with, with a Brazilian artist. I'm, I, I'm a huge fan of, of Brazilian music. Uh, there's Nascimento, there's... Uh, 
Gilberto Gil, there's um, Gaetano Veloso. Um, I, I, there's so many that I love, but I'd also love to work with Daniel Caesar. I'm a, a big fan of his. Um, those would be, well, uh, Bruno too. Bruno and I, we, we've talked about it. So we'll see what happens. It's finding the time to, to create something. But, but off the cuff, those would be my, my first choices. Her as well. Demirius from Boyd's. Uh, what is the biggest misconception about you? Demirium? Demirius? Demirius, excuse me, sorry. Demirius from Boyd's. I think that the biggest misconception, I I don't know about the biggest, I can't really, uh, I'd have to really think about it, but one for sure misconception about me is that pe people think that I'm shy. I don't think that I'm shy, I'm not shy, I'm just quiet. I don't say much. Um, I like to sit and listen. I don't really like to talk much. Lana from Milwaukee, can you still do Mae West like you did on Good Times? <laughs> Lana from Milwaukee, I don't know, and I haven't tried, and I'm not going to. I'm sure you'd probably like for me to try right at this moment, but I'm not going to. I'm too embarrassed. But I don't know. I'm sure maybe if, if I worked at it a little bit, maybe I could find it somewhere inside of me. B from Hotlanta, if you got all of the Jacksons together for a family reunion, about how many people would that be? Oh my gosh, all the Jacksons? B from, from Hotlanta, mm -hmm. all the Jacksons together. We're, we're, we're huge, big, big, big family. Uh, my, you know, my aunt just passed away a few days ago, actually, my, my father's sister, she has thir 13 children, and her children have children, and so on, and so on. It's a lot. It's, it's a massive family. That's just my one on. It's a lot of us when we do get together. I don't know how many, but we're huge. It's a huge family. Huge. Joseph from Tampa. Will you share with us the meaning or significance of the t-shirt you wore in your Pleasure Principle video? It was a black shirt with hand-painted white numbers and letters on it. Looks like a coat of some sort. And I'm sorry, what's the name again? Joseph from Tampa. Joseph from Tampa. This has been so long ago. I can't remember if it's a Gautier? T-shirt or a Comme des Garçons T-shirt. Um, what is the, the meaning behind it? I have no clue. Just thought it was a really cool T-shirt. And I, I died to wear it with my guest jeans. A friend of mine worked at Guest, so I had to have on a pair of guest jeans. And those were the jeans to, to wear at that time, the cool jeans. I guess that's it. I am. Um, I just want to say thank you again for watching my exclusive Steve Harvey show, Ask Anything Chat. And um, my new single is Make For Now with Daddy Yankee. And, uh, and once again, I just want to, I want to thank Steve and his morning show crew. I want to thank you guys for, you've been so, so supportive of myself. And, and my family always and shown so much love and so much respect and much respect back. Thank you so much for that. It's priceless. Thank you. I love you.